Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Replay. I'm your temporary host, Jeff Cork, joined today by Brian Vohr. Yellow. Tim Turi. Hello. As you can see, we're playing Alex Kidd in Miracle World, a fantastic-ish we'll Sega see. Master System game. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll reserve judgment. Tim Turi, you're on the sticks. Yeah, I, I grew up with a Master System. Um, As did I. Yeah, this was what I had instead of Nintendo. So. This seems totally weird and foreign to me. I didn't even know there was a Master System uh, until I was like, my friend had a Genesis and was like, Hey, did you know there Sega had another system before this? I was like, no way, <laughs> no idea. This is like all these games were totally foreign to me, um, and I I did a kind of a relook back on Alex Kid a few uh, like a year or so ago, and uh, really came to res respect this Alex Kid character. Yeah, he's adorable ish. No, <laughs> kind of <laughs> ugly. Big ears. Yeah. Big fist. Yeah. Kid Fisto. Absolutely right. terrible box art. Oh, oh no, oh, why Grim do Reaper. That? Yeah, you don't punch the blocks with the skulls on him. He is going to get you. Big time. Mm. He can go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's... I forgot about that. I, I thought it was just the skulls. See? So... Yeah, Mario shrugs and just falls off the screen. He turns into a ghost and, and floats upward. So these are completely different concepts. You know his it's religion very morbid, when he dies. Yeah. Very morbid death. <laughs> yeah. He, he's a little slidey. I mean, I guess he has similar physics to Mario, but everything's a little bit quicker, it feels like. Yeah, and wait till you get on the motorcycle, which you Oof. we may not do in this uh, replay segment, but... Because it's hard. And it's so fast. You're actually quite lucky, Tim. You're playing on a Genesis controller. We're, we're using an adapter uh, for the Master System game. But uh, the original Master System controller is actually quite weird, isn't it? It's just it like is. a big the D square pad. The pretty rough. It's a big mushy mess, basically. <laughs> it's just a complete nightmare. Yeah. Not so great. You gonna do the trick with the octopus? Yeah, let's do it. I don't think I've ever actually done that. Really? Oh, I don't need to go over there. Yeah, you don't need let that. that one go, man. <laughs> yeah. Let's get past these yeah. green leaf fish. I used to watch my brother play this a lot. I was really bad at it, and I was hoping that maybe... God, that guy's so dumb looking. <laughs> <gasps> Where's my friend Frog and Toad? They said I could be in the next book. You see? Yep. It looks like he's from that book series, and I'm making a joke about it. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I think what you want to do is float so that that skull block is keeping you from floating upward. You can touch it without it. I thought that for some reason the skull blocks you couldn't touch. No, you can't touch the pink ones, I think. You walk over those and it creates a problem. This game is punishing. Yeah. And doesn't that let you throw out little fire blast or am I misremembering the bracelet? Oh, yeah. Doesn't it? Um, it's or not, maybe in a later version. Not with no... With any buttons that I'm pressing. Not with no buttons. <laughs> Ain't no buttons Couch here. Kid. Couldn't let that one slide. Um, all right, we'll get back down there. I think it's pretty cool that you transition into a water level, like mm -hmm. as seamlessly yeah, as that, you. Yeah, don't walk on that. Punch you in the face. Nice. I wasn't sure what you were gonna do there. This music is infectious, by the way. Yeah. This is some great music. Actually, this whole game has some pretty solid music. It absolutely does. I have to admit, it's catchy. You seem like you don't like Alex Kidd. You have to admit. Yeah, I really don't. I mean, if I, <laughs> I would have played this, like, even now, this doesn't look sad to me, but if I would have played this as a kid, I would have been like, this game is BS. Oh, you're like, breaking my heart. You would have loved trying it. Trying to play it and, like, having to be sent back if you just touch anything. So, yeah, go down. No, I don't like it. He's going to shoot bubbles up. Nope, no, go up there now and just start punching. Ooh, See, yeah. that worked out. Right? Watch this. Pro tip. Ha, da, 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 da. Oh, oh, that's satisfying. That yeah. Hey, hey, buddy, you stay up there. I'm gonna eat this rice cake, because that's how you exit levels in Alex Kid. And there he is, yeah, isn't Look at how happy he is. I thought for some reason they changed Here it to... Here we go. Here's the motorcycle. I thought they changed it to a slice of pizza in the U.S., but maybe not. All right, there's the motorcycle, which you can't buy. But <laughs> because imagine it, you're on a motorcycle, and you're going oh, so fast. That's the consequence of, like, just trying to get back to where you were and not yeah. picking up all those bags of money. Now, you'll notice the backgrounds are really well done. There's uh, several different hills. Some really nice parallax scrolling. Look how dumb these frogs look. They're very dumb. Just like a flat blue. <laughs> it's the worst. You know what? We need to find... Uh, we have to get our hands on the so Sonic. Ooh, nice. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog for Master System that they mm -hmm. released after the Genesis one for like, oh, you people can't afford a Genesis? Well, here's Sonic anyway. It's awful. <laughs> we don't... Have you checked the vault for it? Do we have um, it? No, I have it on my Wii. Um, I did it on the... The virtual console. It is so bad. I couldn't finish it. I want to finish wow. it just for like novelty value and for saying that I did. 
but um, I can't. Where does it fall? I mean, just the graphics. It's this. I mean, it's it looks like this. It's the sound is terrible. Um, it the controls are just horrible. Yeah, you know, there's there. It feels nothing like a Sonic game. It just feels like a crappy Master System platformer. I learned today, just coincidentally, that Sonic's first appearance was it like as a as a rearview mirror decoration in some racing game in an arcade. Oh, really? Because I didn't know that. That's Daytona awesome. USA was that it? I don't know. It was some weird no. racing game I hadn't heard of. It must have been like been. It must have been like in development or something, and they knew it was coming down the pipe, and so they're like, "Oh well, we have the character art. Let's let's hype it this way." Yeah, like licensing it ahead of time, or mm -hmm. not licensing, but it's their own game. But can yeah. Alex do a crouch? Let's or, see. Oh yeah. Can you do a crouch walk? No. No, no, no serial man walk. So there's a lot of crazy different Alex Kid games. Jeff Cork, what is what is your favorite? I yeah. like. <laughs> I like Freestyle. that frog a lot. Freestyle. Oh. I've never seen that happen before. Hey, it's, real quick. Yeah, that's gruesome. I like Alex Kidd in High Tech World. It's uh, kind of an adventure game, and the goal is to go to the Sega arcade, oh, and you yeah. have to do all kinds of crazy puzzles. Now, this is a weird thing with oh, Alex yeah, yeah. Kidd. This is, uh, this is important. Do you have some... a tip for me? I'm really bad at these. Um, I don't remember. There's like a pattern that they always follow. I'm so bad. So you're at basically these. there. You go. You're playing rock paper scissors. Yeah, it was like a matter of thinking one, and then at the last second changing it is how you beat it. We'll see. Right on, right on. Yeah, oh. that's what I did. See, it's kind of like a best of three. If I'm not mistaken, is that how this goes? Yeah. I like how he has a fist for a head. There you go. Dang. And if you don't do that. His head flies off and starts chasing you. Isn't that what it yeah, is? Yeah, it's weird crap like <laughs> yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. That sounds cool. But okay, this is it, the octopus part, right? Oh, I think it might be. We need to at least see him before we move on to our roulette, because he's pretty great. There you go. Let's hope I don't botch this. I can go straight down, right? You can go straight down. I don't wanna... And then... So if he hits you with his flying head, it's over. Like, if you lose that Jenkin match, you're pretty much screwed, right? Uh, Yeah, he's very difficult. No, you, you have to beat him but yeah i was i would go out of my way to not have to have it come to that okay so this is one of the game's mini secrets and a little sarcasm there it's pretty much straightforward for the it most is, part except it's for the only secret this right? is yeah basically <laughs> and that octopus is chill he doesn't seem to care so much uh, it's fine just sitting on his face just don't don't hurt me oh. here you go oh man get your booty down Pressing there down punch it Oh. That's your... Huh? Something amazing is supposed to happen here. Hmm. Try punching some more. Just... I'm pressing down. I'm going to press down for... <laughs> there there you go. Holy crap. How, lo how long do you have to hold that? Seconds? Like several seconds? Yeah, several seconds. That's really weird. You can see the reward is... Uh, Golden Grams World. Oh, yeah. I love Golden Grams. Mmm... Uh, I'm fine. Golden here. grabs in water, though, is kind of gross. Yeah, I'd, I'd yeah. go with milk traditionally. <laughs> oh, is this like a bonus? Like, uh, yeah. Live so much up. money. Some kind of bonus world. It is a lot of money. Think of all the motorcycles you can buy. Nope, because I screwed it up a little bit. Uh, this, the never returning scroll is so miserable. I hate yeah, that. that's really annoying. But even Mario did that, but money wasn't currency in that game, so... No. You didn't have to worry about just... All you had to worry about is, like, living and making it to the end and not collecting a bunch of money for right. a shop. Why wouldn't oh, they yeah. just give you the motorcycle, you know? Yeah. So you screw the shop and just, like, hey, this is a motorcycle level. Do it, the fun stuff in the game. It makes it that much more satisfying when you get it and you immediately die on it <laughs> because it's just absurdly fast. Well, I can't go up there, so that's fine. No big deal. God, this is stupid. <laughs> I mean, the game's fun. I, it's, it's fun for yeah. what it is, but just like... Just there's, there's some dumb stuff in here. Sort of the pacing where I have to like create my own path here. Like, I don't want to do this. Kirby did that. Yeah, part. this is kind of unscripted. I remember I had a friend who um, was like, oh, is that like Alex Kid's like, uh, kid brother up there? Is that his little brother he has to say? <laughs> like, dude, it's an extra guy. Yeah. It's a life. Don't be stupid. He does kind of look like... He hmm. does look like a friend. Yeah. I would say the standard uh, extra life nomenclature is the character's head. Yeah, they went all the out. Entire body. You can just go because you know it doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Well, okay, guys. You play <laughs> how you want to play. I'll get the rice cake. There you go. I want to beat this game. It's a life goal of mine. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that now. But you don't think so? Isn't that the part where I'm supposed to say, hey, we'll make it a super replay, folks. Just give us your feedback, you know? Yep. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I don't, oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, I don't okay. appear on that in any way because we would see a lot of this ghost and then starting over from the game. Yeah, and flashing overalls. What a good starting part. <laughs> point there. Just... Fantastic. Well, guys, should we move on to roulette? Is it more Alex, kid? That was kind of a rhetorical question. We're going to move on to roulette. All right, here we are with our roulette. As you can see, Psycho Fox, another great-ish Master System game. Tim, you've never seen this before, have you? No, but it looks like something I would have liked. Yeah. Was this just a completely terrible system? I mean... I is enjoyed this the cream it. of the crop, these two games? Let's just take a look at this right away. <laughs> I just hit B. Yeah. That's what's happening. Stretchy well, arm. He doesn't move at all, except his arm stretches out from his body. That's some lazy animation there. He's cool. Don't worry about it. That's what... He's Psycho. All He's right. rendered Let's him take immobile. to the next level, Tim. I'll yeah. try. <laughs> Next round, maybe. Yeah. He's got this momentum that's kind of interesting. Um, whatever. I'm just gonna play the game. All right, whatever. Okay. Hey. Oh, don't don't psycho out. Okay. Crack that egg. Yeah, has he done anything? You're gonna want to do that. What psychotic things has he done or will do? Do you do you remember, Cork? Well, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. Oh, actually. Oh my gosh. You might get to see it. The momentum in this game is. Strange. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so this is really weird. Basically, you can move, like, if you stop running, you lose all your momentum. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to really pick up. Otherwise, if you try to, like, jump, and that's just me oh, jumping and moving. Nothing. It's like, I feel like he has weights on him, like he's training in a pool or something. They're under his pink shorts. Yeah. So I'll try to keep the momentum going, kind of. No, but I don't want to die. You got a jug of crap there. Message in a bottle. Looks like kind of like Sonic. There's a upper and lower path. Yeah, it, oh. later levels get pretty huge. Oh man, this is um, this game does not control well. Once you get past, eh, never mind. Uh, is he if he ever passes those hoppy things, is he gonna turn psychotic? You should take the upper tier. Okay, I'll try. Which, you know, it's quite easy. Now we saw in the. Off, off the video, we saw some footage of some other animals. You get, you get to play up from all the animals in the title screen. The entire kingdom is yours, including nice. hippo and overall wearing monkey. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, he's it's pretty like, sweet. Are they all have psycho in for their name? Like I don't psycho believe they're hippo? psycho. Psycho monkey? No. It's unstable. Yeah. Is there a psycho unhinged. mantis in here? That would be <laughs> awesome. Yeah. He reads your system and says, uh, looking at your passwords... You like uh, Alice Kid in Shinobi World. <laughs> Why? Put the controller down. Uh, no, seriously, do it. Just turn it off. This. So this anyway, is, here's the thing I was gonna tell you, but you you haven't gotten them yet. There's like, let me see if I can do this. Play here, Jeff. You play. Uh, yeah, Jeff Cork can do it. Oh, continue. Okay, let me hit this. Yeah, it's not start button at all. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go. Still got it. Yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> What is, are those snow-covered branches in the middle of the summer? What's happening here? Uh, cherry blossoms and whatnot. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, there yeah. we go. This is what I wanted. Whoa! Yeah. That bird is awesome, and... Oh, he really hit that guy. The crazy they actually bird. made a semi-sequel to this game. You may know it as Decap Attack. Oh, really? really? Yeah. With throwing the bird? Yeah. So, basically, it became a head, and he was like a mummy. Yeah. That's I the most interesting thing about Psycho Fox, which should tell you something. I kind of <laughs> like that, that mechanic. He's a fox mechanic, right? Oh, no. Oh, well, is this is another great thing about it. Oh! Yeah. Weird. What does that accomplish? Uh, you fling up, uh, theoretically. Let's see if I can... Uh, it's not going to let you away. Oh. Yeah. Scroll Just imagine going quite far, and you it's exhilarating. You've played this game. I have. It's been a while. Ah, there we go. Ah. Not much of a swimmer, but... Yeah, so that's Psycho Fox. I took the controller back because it looked fun when he was playing it. I'm just going to get shut down. Yeah. So, where is this uh, bird? That's him? Sometimes. Randomly. There, there he uh, is. This is from an era when games were expensive. I didn't have a lot of money, so you would just power through it. And I remember beating this game, which seems like I wouldn't have been able to do that ever. 
He's at sometimes... this point in my life. Nice. That's impressive. He sometimes perfectly misses with that bird. Oh yeah, it's, it's a, a bird. Weird. It's not like it's an extension of himself. It's it a weird a pattern. Pattern. It starts high and then swoops low. Yeah, at the end of it. Kind of like the stones in uh, Friday the Thirteenth. They are like the least accurate things you could ever throw at an enemy. Mm. They mm. just perfectly go over guys' heads. What I do like about the bird is even though what did what did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> this game <Yeah>. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, we that did it. Our trip down Master System Lane. Oh. Ryan isn't convinced, but do you still like the Master System, Tim Turry? I like Alex Kidd. I actually still want to beat that, but I think yeah. it's mostly nostalgia at this point. I would love yeah. to see someday a good Master System game. <laughs> All well, right. I have a big stack of them, so we might revisit it later. I think Great. we should. I'd love, to, I'd love to be converted. Of course, I didn't want to start with the good ones. So. Oh, no, yeah, no. we got to ramp up. Don't yeah, blow it. exactly. Let's get some, some going back. eyes on those hills in the back there. Yeah. And we'll, we'll talk. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you in another episode of Replay.